born on April 1, 1973 in Christchurch, New Zealand. Stephen Fleming went on to become one of the toughest captains the Kiwis have ever seen. The legendary leg spinner Shane Warne once hailed him as the best captain in world cricket. A left-handed batsman, Fleming made an immediate impact in his test debut in March 1994 during the home series against India, and was awarded the man of the match for his outstanding 92-run innings. By September 2000, Fleming had become New Zealand's most successful test captain. His twelfth win as captain, against Zimbabwe, saw him surpass Jeff Howarth's record. Fleming eventually finished with 28 test victories, cementing his place as the team's longest-serving and most successful captain. Stephen Fleming's test career spanned 111 matches, during which he scored 7,172 runs at an average of 40.06. His highest test score was an impressive 274 not out, achieved against Sri Lanka in Colombo in April 2003. Under Fleming's captaincy, New Zealand clinched their first ICC trophy by winning the 2000 ICC knockout trophy. One of his most memorable ODI innings came during the 2003 Cricket World Cup. Fleming scored an unbeaten 134 to help New Zealand defeat host South Africa. Stephen Fleming played two 80 ODIs for New Zealand from 1994 to 2007, scoring 8,037 runs at an average of 32.41. In 2004, Fleming was named New Zealand's Cricketer of the Year. He captained Nottinghamshire to a county championship victory in 2005, their first championship title in 18 years. However, all journeys have their twists and turns. On April 24, 2007, Fleming resigned as captaincy following a semi-final defeat to Sri Lanka in the Cricket World Cup. His decision marked the end of an era. By stepping down, he handed over the captaincy to the next generation, ensuring a smooth transition and paving the way for the future of Kiwi cricket. We hope you have enjoyed this episode. Until next time, keep celebrating the spirit of cricket.